What's going on guys? This is Aaron EBM and welcome back to the den. Today we're going to be talking about the recession. Is it a recession? Is it not a recession? Are we almost at a recession? Is the recession almost over? No matter if you listen to a media outlet or not, you all know something is going on. You just look at the prices. The prices of everything have skyrocketed. 50% to 100% more than what they were last year. And this is taking a toll. If you're an average worker or if you are a mid-level worker, you're all feeling the pinch. By all means, I am not a professional. I'm just a regular guy, just like you. I'm just here to tell you what I've been through, share some of the mistakes I made, some of the good decisions, some of the bad decisions, and just give you the information so you won't make the same mistakes I did. And yeah, I'm wearing glasses tonight. I wanted to do something different. So what? This is my channel. Guys, the first thing you need to understand is no one's coming to help you. You are all alone. We are not the we are not the women of society. We do not have safety nets. We do not have things and people that will have our backs. We are all alone. We are the only ones that will protect our families. We're the only ones that will provide for our families. So guys, remember that the first tip to this video is guys know and understand that you are all by yourself in this. If you got people that help you, great, but don't rely on them. If things get harder, they're not going to be, people are not going to be able to help you like they were. So just remember that. All right, the second tip, you guys are going to have to realize that cash flow is everything in these times. And this, which means that the more money that you have flowing into your household and keeping in your household can mean the world. Try to knock off bills, knock off some of these uh, frivolous bills you got. Go through these streaming services. If you like me, I have plenty of streaming services. I really have too many. So what I began to do is knock stuff off. If I'm not watching it, if I go two months without watching a, a streaming service, I cut it off. So do that. First thing you do, knock those frivolous things off, get them out of the way. If you're a person that gets a relatively large sum of money back during income taxes, don't don't feel the pressure. Don't feel like you're going to have to go out there and, and pin it all up because you have it. Remember, this is the time to where you can pay off a, a substantial bill. If you have a car note that is within range, knock it off, knock it out. That's money cash flow back into your house that you can have. If you have a $300 car note, that's $300 that you can bank and save and put to other things. Remember, these food bills are more and more expensive. I know if, if you're like me and you and you have to pay for these things and you don't have assistance, you know that grocery trips become more and more expensive and that money doesn't go as far. So if you can knock out a $200 car note and put it back in your house, do it. Then you can kind of do the Dave Ramsey thing. If you got another another smaller bill that you can help knock out with that $300, knock it out. You're going to need that extra cash flow in, the, in, in your home. I don't feel these things is, are, are, going, are going to get any better. I feel like things are going to get worse. So this is the time. If you are able to knock those bills out, knock them out and knock them out fast. I know this is kind of like the things that you're supposed to learn in budget basics, but hey, I'm here to tell you that extra money, that cash flow you get in your house, start to save it, put some of it back or else you'll get into the habit of spending it all up and you'll be in the same position that that pressure will become uh, come off of you, especially if you have kids and you have a family. Cause you guys got to realize no matter what the the people say out there no matter what uh, social media tells you or the media in general tells you about being a man and everybody's equal we all have our innate roles as beings men are providers men are protectors this is what we do and i know they tell women that women are equal but women are are nurturers they are nurturers by heart they don't want to have to be the one that are providing and at the end of the day no matter what they say even if you're equal that burden will fall on your shoulders will fall on your back if you especially if you are a family man especially if you're like me that that weight will come down on you and that is your burden to bear so make this make it easier on yourself knock out these bills i know that your your girlfriend your fiance's and your wives are going to tell you you're going to want extra things but believe me that you can save up for those things in the long run. If you got the debt, knock it out. Another tip is stop stop eating out. Learn how to cook at home. If, you, if you're not a good cook, this is what YouTube is for. There's plenty of YouTube channels out there that'll help you cook, that'll help you learn how to do those things where you're not having to go out and rely on fast food to sustain because even even the mcdonald's bills are 40 and 50 dollars now they're not what they used to be and we can't all go out and and spend 40 dollars a, uh, a week or every other day on out fast food you don't need it knock it out learn how to be more self-sufficient look everybody's trying to save money even those fast food restaurants are trying to save money <laughs> So 
So you do what you have to do. Don't be a con- don't be a consumer. Be more of a producer. And the last thing is stay strong. I know I, that I'm going to tell you that you are the last line of defense in your home, and that's what you are there to do. And think you're there to make the hard decisions. You're there to make the decisions that nobody else wants to make or nobody else should have the burden to make. You are there as the head of the household. You are there to be that leader, you know, that you are supposed to be. So you be that leader. You make those hard decisions. Stay strong out there. And look, if you feel like you don't always have people to help you or you don't know the first steps or don't or you don't have the willpower to do it, that's what we're here for. Creators are here for. Get in our inboxes, get in our comment sections, or you can just email us. My my email is on my about tab. Email us if you want to talk, have a group, whatever you need to do. People are there to help. And like I said before, nobody's coming to help men. At the end of the day, you're going to have to be your own motivation at times. Simple tips. Let me know if you like this video. I appreciate you guys for being with me. Until next time, everybody. Peace.